An industrial robot in a Tesla factory attacked a human. Is a robocalypse looming? It seems to be heating up between the church and the Polish state as bishops worldwide tirelessly strive to understand the fiducia supplicants' declaration. Contrary to some views, Christians globally are gaining strength. Is a conservative man good husband material? What is the Spanish festival of young men? Learn about these and other events from Safira Radio News Service. Cardinal Pietro Parolin, the Vatican Secretary of State, on behalf of Pope Francis, encouraged participants of the 46th European Youth Meeting to build a world of listening, dialogue and openness. He reminded them of the value of friendship with God and people and the necessity of careful listening as an act of love and trust foundation. He emphasized youth's crucial role in overcoming marginalization and building bridges between nations, cultures and religions, urging them to live like Jesus. Upcoming meetings of the Joint Government and Episcopate Commission and the Concordat Commission will discuss topics such as religious education in schools, transforming the church fund into a tax deduction, and life protection and pro-family policies. Both commissions expect personnel changes due to the new government. The Joint Commission resolves state church issues, while the Concordat Commission focuses on implementing the Concordat. These meetings will also provide opportunities for discussion on pro-family and demographic issues in Poland. Cardinal Victor Manuel Fernandez, Prefect of the Dicastery for the Doctrine of the Faith, responds to criticism of the Fiducia Supplicants Declaration, stressing the need for bishops and episcopal conferences to discern its application methods. The Declaration concerns blessings for people in irregular situations, including same-sex couples, but does not mean accepting their behaviours as consistent with faith teaching. Despite varied opinions among bishops worldwide, the Cardinal clarified in an interview with Spanish newspaper ABC that such blessings are merely a pastoral gesture of closeness, not interpreted as accepting same-sex marriages. This year, the number of Christians worldwide has risen to over 2.6 billion, with an annual increase equivalent to 30 million new faithful. Every day, 82,000 people join the Christian community. This growth is particularly notable in Africa, America, Japan, China and South Korea. In contrast to the slower growing Catholic Church, Protestant free churches record a growth rate of 1.79% per year. Meanwhile, Islam, growing at 1.87% per year, has surpassed 2 billion followers. The 70th edition of the Catholic Youth Association's caroling campaign has started in Austria. From December 27 to January 6, carolers from 3,000 parishes are raising funds to help children and youth in Guatemala. Last year, they collected nearly 20 million euros. The campaign also includes meetings with politicians, including the President of Austria. At the Tesla Giga Texas factory near Austin, a dangerous incident occurred where an industrial robot attacked an engineer. The robot, designed for moving aluminum castings, assaulted the man with metal claws while he was programming two other robots. Another employee stopped the attack using an emergency switch. The accident, which fortunately resulted in minor injuries for the engineer, was revealed in a two-year-old report submitted to Travis County authorities and federal regulators. The Feast of the Holy Innocents, known in Spain as Dia de los Santos Inocentes, celebrated on December 27th, is akin to April Fool's Day. People play pranks and jokes, and the media broadcasts surprising news. The festival commemorates King Herod's young victims from Bethlehem, called the Holy Innocents. In Spain, popular activities include an egg battle in Aragon and El Zanfarinats in Ibi, where the weapons are flour and eggs. John Stone Street and Heather Peterson in Christian Healed Lines debunk the stereotype of conservative Christian men as patriarchal and dominating. Sociological studies, including those by Brad Wilcox, show that deeply religious men are more loving husbands and engaged fathers. This group has the lowest divorce and domestic violence rates. Piercy's book, The Toxic War on Masculinity, highlights that more than conservative gender role views, family as life centerpiece is crucial 
The authors believe Christianity contributes to better mutual understanding between men and women and overcoming toxic attitudes in men. This was the news service from Safira Radio. Thank you for being with us. During the New Year's weekend, we invite you to biblical reflections and epic music shows. May God bless us all.